Chinese New Year celebration is never complete without a sumptuous serving of pancit and tikoy. Hilary Isaac tells us the different and almost unconventional way of prepping up these Chinese favorites. What's a Chinese or Filipino celebration without pancit? This fair symbolizing long life is what sustained one of Manila's oldest panciteria. Built in 1945, Salido Restaurant has withstood the Second World War and other tests of time. Salido's chami looks like ordinary pancit, but it is anything but that. Chief cook Roel Amores knows the recipe by heart. From the ingredients, noodles, meat, soy sauce, and vegetables, to the proper way of mixing everything in, he can cook chami in under five minutes. Sixty years and counting, Salido's clientele continues to grow. So does its menu. Now it has Shanghai-style asado cooked in a special kind of kawaiyan called the bakawan. Szechuan minced talong, hot and sour soup, three cups chicken, patatim, kingfish with their famed yang chow fried rice. Binondo is where the traditional and the contemporary meet. Culture, color, and constantly calling guilty pleasures, one of which is good old tikoy from Eng B Tin. And no, it's not just dessert. Stir-fried tikoy works as a main dish. If you're not into extreme experimenting, why not try this tikoy dish with a twist? Well, you can actually do a, what we call a spring tikoy roll. So it's like uh, having a lumpia tikoy. Right? So you just uh, wrap two pieces of tikoy, like one ube and one white tikoy again, and then put some uh, peanut powder, right? And then you wrap it in a lumpia wrapper and then you can just fry it. 